Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for May 6th, 2022. Well, my goodness, everyone, I said don't count out the bears yesterday. I didn't say poke the bears yesterday. <laughs> Boy, they came back with a vengeance um, after that exuberant rally. And I think there's a lot of people that got hurt bad yesterday um, trying to chase the market long on Wednesday. That was a punishing, punishing whipsaw. And we're back down here testing the lows of 2022. The question for today is, can we hold? Now, just one day ago, we were fingers crossed, hoping for some kind of a relief rally, but unfortunately that didn't occur. And now we're hoping that we just hold price support heading into the weekend. So with that, guys, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Yesterday was a pretty rough day, and if you uh, rushed into the market long thinking that the all clear had been sounded, um, you had a bitter disappointment as we sold right back off. Um, fortunately, right way options was on the right side of this. As a matter of fact, um, we took some beautiful profits um, shorting yesterday. Um, into well shorting Wednesday into uh, that selling Thursday so we were on the right side of it luckily um, but believe me in no way shape or form did I expect us to pull back that hard let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today on this Friday well doggone it if we take a look right in here we have a support level that we'll want to be watching pretty closely and we have some data coming out today that may give us or provide us a little bit of hope that we can hold on but as you can see we are already pulling back a little bit in the pre-market as some of the earnings roll out this morning keep a close eye on these resistance levels in the chart obviously pretty substantial resistance levels that we're going to have to push through. If those bears find inspiration today, it really wouldn't be that big of a negative that could push us off of this cliff um, into that downside move. Now, we obviously are continuing in this downtrend and I would continue to caution everyone um, as long as this downtrend continues to make sure that you're staying predominantly short, um, we could have lots of false rallies um, in this market um, because remember, we're just getting started with um, interest rate increases and we're really seeing those economic numbers, our economy numbers are not looking very good. A lot of uncertainty out there, so just be really careful. Our technicals in the chart continue to deteriorate. Notice we have the 34 EMA crossing over the 50 um, looking on lower. We've got a 500 day moving average down here that could certainly be tested. So just watch that close. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY obviously uh, a brutal day yesterday pushing back down and once again we're going to have to watch this support level now we would have a pretty strong push to have to break down uh, below the low of this week but it is certainly possible if those bears find reason for inspiration we we'll want to keep in mind that these downtrends are still in play and we're going to have to be pretty vigilant in um, staying on mostly on the right side of this downtrend um, as we continue. So watch that closely and just watch these resistance levels in the chart. We've got a long ways to go before we're going to be pushing up to recover some of those. So a lot of work needs to be done here. We need something to inspire those bulls heading into this weekend, whether or not they can hold. Well, uh, I think it really all comes down to how positive the numbers are today. So watch that carefully. You can see we're already pushing just a little bit lower in the pre-market. So be really careful. If we take a look at our technicals here, obviously 
uh, pretty bearish with our 34 EMA 20 simple moving down through the 50 day. We're becoming pretty darn close to that 500 day moving average. So it could really start to pull on the markets and draw us down toward that in the SPY. If we take a look at the QQQ, boy, um, I, I got to put QQQ as the weakest of the indexes. Certainly, we're continuing to break down along this downtrend. We've broken to 2022 lows, new 2022 lows, and you can see we're um, right at the precipice in the pre market here where we could break down. Notice we have a little bit of a tweezer bottom right there within a couple of ticks. We held that held the that low on that tweezer bottom but that possibility that we could break on through here and, and unfortunately that could send us substantially lower so watch that carefully resistance levels above if we can get those bulls fired up to do something we've got an awful lot of work to come up through here and i think a lot of people are now suggesting or or thinking pretty clearly we have a recession on the way um, so we're going to possibly see some piling on of some of these uh, negative numbers in the economy. Just watch that close. If we take a look at our uh, technicals here, obviously this is extremely bearish. Um, uh, QQQ is broken down below its 500 day moving average. Notice that our shorter term moving averages are dropping pretty sharply. It won't be much longer where we'll see those shorter term averages actually crossing down through that 500 day moving average. And obviously our 50 day moving average is pushing that direction as well, but it's got a ways to go. So a uh, pretty ugly chart. And uh, it doesn't get a whole lot uglier than the Russell as our um, IWM breaking that support level, continuing to follow these overall downtrends in the chart. Um, pretty brutal day yesterday. We did hold, um, we didn't quite make it back down to that um, early low um, this week. But we'll want to watch this closely because, it, like I said, it really wouldn't take much to push us off of this cliff. And I want you to understand that if we fall through here, we could we could fall pretty hard yet in the Russell. So watch that carefully. Our um, Russell here, um, tremendously negative technicals, as you can see, our 34 EMA, 20 um, SMA falling below the 500 day. And notice our 50 day moving average is really, really close to collapsing through that 500 day average. So very, very bearish chart. They don't get much weaker than that. Let's take a look at our VIX. You know, we were looking at the VIX yesterday and just kind of hoping that we could continue to slide down and 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 um, um, look at this trend here um, uh, for some support. But unfortunately, we rejected off of that 25 handle area here in the VIX and shot back up. But the good news is, guys, is we didn't reach all the way back up here. And if we were to break through up here, I would look for a significant change in the market. And what I mean by that is if we get up here, I think we'll see institutions really start to deleverage if we were to pop that fear up in that area. So if we can hold below there, fingers crossed, um, we could be in pretty good shape. If we really see that to uh, beginning to spike, uh, be really cautious and careful. Um, watch this closely, guys, um, as we move up. Now, if we can get some bullish action here and get a little resting pullback, be um, awfully, uh, awfully nice to see that VIX resting a little bit heading into the weekend um, and um, resolving some of these wide bid S spreads and very, very challenging options market out there. So watch carefully. Let's take a look at our T2122. T2122 is probably um, our best hope that we can get a bit of a relief rally here in the market. If you'll notice right in here, though, it was kind of interesting yesterday, the way we fell in T2122. Um, we came very, very close to um, hitting the lows down here. And I don't know why. Um, I uh, It's very strange. I don't know where my, my lines have gone on here. But um, 
um, as you can see down here is where we're going to reach that oversold condition and if you look um, right in here we pushed down there pretty close to that oversold condition yesterday um, and then that last you know half hour rally back uh, brought us up a couple hundred points so that still puts us in that situation where we could still see a little bit more selling that could happen and there may be some things on uh, on the um, economic calendar that could create that we'll look at that in just a second but also we want to recognize the fact if we can find some reason for bullishness we have plenty of upside potential here in the market if we take a look at our T2122, whoops, T2108, I'm sorry, um, we can certainly see that this isn't helping us at, uh, at all, pushing back down, but there is that tiny little bit of hope here because we didn't break this week's lows in that T2108, but unfortunately, you know, 29% of the stocks um, holding above or holding above their 40 day moving average is, is not a bullish case. So we've got all of this resistance above downtrends continue to hold in here in T2108. T2107, unfortunately not any better. Um, as you can see, uh, breaking back down that rally right at the end of the day did lift us up off of the low here. We, we had broken this low. Um, but just right before the end of the day, we caught that little bit of relief. But unfortunately, 27-28% um, of the stocks um, holding above its 200-day moving average. It's really difficult to build much of a bullish case as long as this um, is in play. So just be really, really careful. Our T2101 interesting yesterday that it didn't shoot straight back up so kind of an interesting situation here in t2101 so it's really hard to get any in uh, any good information i think out of this as far as directional momentum because we dropped right back down to support but with all that energy pushing us back down, we didn't break through those support levels. So kind of a confusing situation here. And I know there's a lot of uh, traders out there that are probably just wondering what in the world is going on. And I certainly understand that sentiment. If you take a look at um, our economic calendar today, we're going to have a pretty busy uh, morning here with some earnings events and then this employment situation number. Now consensus estimates has this coming in strong this month and we'll, um, if, if that does occur, if those estimates are correct, we certainly could see a um, little relief beginning off of these support levels. But I think we do have to consider what happens if that doesn't come in strong if we happen to miss if you guys saw that yesterday we had some a uh, little bit of ticks up in um, those jobless claims and so if we were to start to see this um, missing then um, that could really inspire those bears to continue pushing um, heading into this weekend so keep a close eye on that here before the market opens and then we've just got a you know a uh, parade of Fed speakers and I would expect all next week we're probably going to see a whole lot of Fed conversation now that they're out of that blackout period here in the market so watch those let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar um, about a hundred and twenty some companies listed on the calendar but there's a lot of them that are not confirmed so we have a lot lighter day here on our calendar a few uh, notables um, if you want to get the full list make sure you click the link below the title of the video that'll take you back to that list of notables on the blog let's take a look we have like vst reporting this has been a beautiful upside move had a little bit of a shooting star type pattern you can see just a little tiny bit of bearishness here could create a little bit of a evening star pattern here at the top but watch that carefully we have uh, abr abr on the list a little pop and drop in the pre-market on that so keep an eye on it this hasn't been looking all that great but at least we're holding on to some major support in that chart take a look at ci ci will be reporting today got a nice little upside trend little channel going on here um, trying to push on through here this morning so watch that carefully imgn is on the list and unfortunately 
Um, looks like that's going the opposite direction. Moving down as some of those biotechs start to struggle here in the market, um, breaking through some support in that chart. So keep an eye on that. Last one, a WPRT. Um, you'll want to keep an eye on that as that reports. Now, obviously, a little teeny tiny guy um, here in the chart. Not exactly something that's going to be really moving you know the market substantially so let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful and helpful if you could please do me that favor continue to click those thumbs up buttons leave those brief comments um it, it helps the channel to grow and I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who does do that. Let's take a look here and um, look at some stocks that are setting up but guys I want to be really really careful and in uh, making you understand this is a, a very challenging very difficult market if you're finding yourself to be struggling if you're losing money day after day after day in this market it's time to stop back off until you feel like you have a better edge here in the market don't continuously uh, try to fight a market that is so erratic and so punishing to folks um, that don't trade with discipline so be very 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 careful so looking at these stocks remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security and as a matter of fact you need to make sure you're doing your own due diligence make sure that you're paying close attention to your rules your guidelines and your tolerance for risk because this is a very, very challenging market. If we take a look at a couple of those, and you guys know that I've been keeping an eye on Clorox here. Better go to a daily chart though. Clorox is still trying to hold up. Now it hasn't been able to break out yet, but I'm watching that closely because we are seeing some of these defensive sector stocks hold up. And I'm just watching this area right in here. If that can push on through, maybe push up and fill that gap. So uh, keep a close eye on that if you're looking for some bullish charts. Other bullish charts, I gotta tell you guys, it's, it's in the food and energy um, area. Take a look at CPB. Now they don't get a whole lot more boring than um, Campbell Soup, but um, I'll take boring in a market like this. And look at this beautiful upside trend going on here in the chart. And we have certainly had a nice run on um, up yesterday pushing on through these resistance levels looking pretty good now if we look all the way back here there's some resistance in that chart above but i'll tell you we we continue to see food prices rise um you know and what the fed fed did to try and lower um um, lower inflation um, impacts is not having really any effect on food energy and um, housing prices so we could still see that inflation rate continue to rise if these uh, kind of stocks continue take a look at um, Hershey Hershey um, tried to move up yesterday, ended up with a little bit of a pullback. Watch that right in there. We're trying to get back up through that downtrend, that possibility that we could move through. So watch that closely. Um, also saw some nice moves yesterday. Kellogg's, again, very, very boring companies, but they're doing quite well. Kellogg's moving up, breaking out, as you can see here. Um, we can um, see that we may be testing some um, resistance highs here and possible all-time highs here in Kellogg's. So uh, food prices continue to go up. KHC would be um, another. Kraft Heinz tried um, to move a little bit yesterday, trying to move on up, continuing to hold in this upside trend. I would keep an eye on it. A little pop and drop on the day so far, but doggone it, those food uh, companies continue to look pretty good. You might want to take a look at some of these, if you're looking long, um, continue to look at these energy companies. AR, this has just been an amazing upside trend, continues to move in that nice pattern. Maybe a little bit of consolidating rest should occur in here for that to move on up, but I would watch that closely. Um, ExxonMobil also showing that bullishness here, continuing to move up as 
energy prices continue to be a problem here for us um, on inflation. So watch that closely. If you take a look at um, natural gas, um, natural gas, um, amazingly strong. Um, almost, uh, like I said, I, I'm holding uh, a position in natural gas. I've been holding it for a long time. And um, as I've said, it's almost embarrassingly uh, bullish and positive here um, uh, because we just continue to soar. And I got to tell you, with Russia, Ukraine going on, I don't see and well in, in current policies of our administration, I just don't see this changing much. Now, I do expect some kind of arrest or pullback. But um, just watch that closely as we continue to see natural gas prices um, surge um, with all of uh, all of the issues that we're seeing out there um, in the world right now. So watch those closely. Now, on the short side of the market, I got to say, you might want to be looking at um, some of these tech companies. Um, Amazon, oh my goodness, Amazon continuing to fall. And um, if we can hold a little support here, um, that would be great. But I gotta say, there's a very good chance Amazon could continue to fall down here. Look for that big round number of 2,000. That's 300 points lower. Big round number of 2,000 as a potential holding point here in Amazon. Pretty darn ugly. Now, I would expect some kind of relief rally back before we continue to sink on down. But watch um, stocks like that. Um, remember, Amazon guiding lower. Um, in their last earnings report, and those consumers are definitely strained. The other place that I keep mentioning is the financials, and I think I've been um, correct here so far on those financials um, uh, failing along our downtrend here. Um, so I would watch that closely. I saw Jim Cramer come out and said, oh, we've, we've got to start buying up these banks, but I just don't see it yet. And um, I would watch that pretty closely. If we take a look at like Citibank, Citibank, that possible failure right here along the downtrend is something I would be watching for. Uh, WFC would be another one of those as we continue to move in this downtrend where those possibilities we could keep pushing on lower in some of these financials. So just watch them closely if you're looking for some short trades. Well, guys, I'm running out of time here for this video this morning, and I want to wish you all a fantastic day of trading. I know this has been challenging. I know a lot of you are probably feeling some pain and pressure, but hopefully you're picking up some information in these videos that aren't full of hype and aren't full of prediction because, doggone it, um, this is the time to be disciplined and very disciplined in the market because if we're going to go into a full bear market, just keep in mind, this could continue for another year to the downside if we do go into that full bear. So be very, very careful. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning.